Hey what's up guys, Jerry's Media here, and today I'm going to be filming a video on these Ethic Foam Grips, but before I start, leave a like on this video, and when this video hits 50 likes, I'll upload tomorrow's video. So yeah, I haven't uploaded any videos recently, but um, hopefully since this week I'm getting the week off, I'll be able to make some more videos. Alright, so this package I got from ScooterExtreme.es, which is one of the bigger shops here in Spain. Um, so if you want to shop from there or you want to get these grips, which I'm pretty sure this is the only place where you can get them still since they don't make them anymore, I'll drop a link down below so you can, you can find it and you can buy it from there. I also wanted to say that tomorrow I'm going to try to film a vlog and so I'm probably going to be using these grips and I'm going to talk about if I like them or not. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Something I forgot to mention is that these grips are made out of foam, obviously, as the name implies, and grips nowadays are made out of rubber. And this is because uh, they were made a really long time ago and they were made to be like the razor grips for the razor scooters, but to be a little bit better, longer, and longer lasting. All right, so getting straight into the package, you can see, oh, actually, they shipped them with a box for Root Industries grips, which is weird. So yeah, weirdly enough, uh, this box says Root Industries Premium Grips. Um, I'm guessing that they didn't have any packaging for these grips, so they just had to repackage it. And here you can also see the Scooter Extreme branding from the shop that I got it from. Alright, so opening these up. Um, I can tell right now that these are in fact not the Root Industries grips, so that's good. Um, yeah, here we have them. So these are the Ethic DTC Foam Grips. And from what I can see right now, they're actually really thin. Um, so, I'm pretty excited to see what it's like to ride with these. So yeah, taking a closer look, um, as you can see I have a couple of stickers in here. I have this Scooter Extreme one, which is pretty basic. I have this other Scooter Extreme one, and then these two other stickers are also from the shop. And they just say, Original Rider, Rider Shop sxtm.es. So also something I forgot to mention, there's also another link for the website, it's called sxtm.es, and you can find anything you want there. Um, the thing about these grips is that I feel like they're really rare, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to get them, because they're only $349 on the page, but I don't think you can find them anywhere else in the world, and I think that they're a pretty important scooter part in, I guess, scooter history. So yeah guys, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a closer look. As you can see over here, it says Ethic DTC Foam Grips. It's actually, I don't know if it's inverted in the camera, but the way that I'm seeing it right now it is. Um, so yeah, it has the little writing on it. These grips are really thin, so I feel like I'm going to be able to feel my bars really well with these grips. And I'm actually surprised with how long they are because compared to the Topo Grips, I think they're about the same length or even maybe a little bit more from what I'm seeing right now. So yeah, here you have the Tilt Topo grips um, compared to the Ethic Foam grips and the Ethic ones are actually longer, um, which I think these are as long as the Attic grips, which are also really common in France where Ethic comes from. And these are some pretty huge grips. So yeah, I was expecting these to be a lot shorter because I thought that maybe these would be able to fit on a Razor scooter, but it looks like they're not. So yeah, right now I'm going to try to fit these onto my T-bars. These are the Tilt Scout T-bars, and uh, I just want to... I, I don't really know how I'm supposed to put them on. I don't know if there's anything special about them. I'm just going to try to slide them on however I can. Uh, if there's a specific method, I'm not really sure of that, but I just want to see how they are. And I've never done this with the topo grips, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to slide them off like this. Just roll them up from one side to another. Alright guys, just in case you didn't know, taking these grips off is incredibly difficult. So I would just put some water in and then take them off that way. Alright, now that I've got the grips off, I'm going to have to find a way to put these on. So first I'm just going to try without anything, see how it works. Alright, so this method of putting them on is turning out to be really slow and it's not working very well. I'm guessing that you can't use water with these grips because they'd just get soaked. 
So I'm gonna go and try to find some hairspray and that way maybe they'll slide on easily. So yeah, I couldn't find any hairspray, but I found some deodorant and I'm gonna use this instead. All you have to do with this is you just spray inside the grip a couple times and then it'll slide right on. So now that I have this on, I have to put the bar ends in and I've decided that on this, instead of putting on the normal plastic bar ends, I'm going to put in the tilt beacon metal bar ends. And the reason is that uh, since I'm not using the topo grips anymore, and these grips don't have the exact same width, it's not going to look as good if I have the rubber ones in there. So yeah, this actually looks really good with um, the metal bar end. And I'm just going to use my Allen wrench to screw that in. All right, so we've got the second grip in. Something to mention is that it is a little bit harder to put this on if you have the little red tilt sticker that they have on there. And yeah, you can definitely tell that these grips are longer because um, the proto sticker over here is a little bit covered, uh, whereas with the other grips, it was completely showing. All right, so we've got both the grips on, and from what I can tell right now, they are pretty comfortable, and they are a little bit more... I guess squishy and they can absorb a little bit more than the other grips. But something that I'm thinking about right now is that these will probably absorb a lot of sweat and so over the time they will smell a little bit worse than your normal grips. Um, because these grips over here, the rubber ones, you can just clean and you'll take everything out from all the crevices and then that'll be fine. But with these, you just have to get new ones. So yeah, if you want to see me writing these grips and testing them out, I'm going to be uploading a vlog not tomorrow, but the day after. Um, so just smash a like on this video. When it hits 50 likes, I'll upload tomorrow's video, and then the same thing will happen uh, for the next day. And then I'll bring you guys the video on these grips and just the vlog where I'll be using these and I'll be showing you guys my local skate park. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.